I'm now joined by Theo Hermosas, RVP for ANZ at Snowflake, and Fred Herselman, General Manager Enterprise Data, Decisioning in Artificial Intelligence at PEXA. Gentlemen, such a pleasure to be with both of you here today. Great Thank to you. be here, Ryan. Thank you. Fred, PEXA connects people, businesses, and governments across the property community. What's the data showing you, and are any trends emerging? What we're seeing, look, we're the first digital e-conveyancing platform globally. Um, and our mission is to connect people to place, be it governments, lenders, buyers and sellers. And what we're seeing is that they want to be better informed. They want to have more data around the properties that buy and sell. And so we need to be really at the forefront of delivering that data and those insights to our customers, to government institutions, and be that risk factors around property, right? be that valuations around property or be that how the property is changing from a demographic perspective. What are those demand factors around property? But the trends we're seeing is people want to know more about it. People want to know more about their property, the data around their property, and there's this insatiable thirst to make informed decisions around place. And we think PEXA is beautifully positioned in that ecosystem. Great to hear, Fred. Let's dive in. How does the AI data cloud power PEXA's ability to deliver a secure digital infrastructure, integrated solutions, and actionable insights for its customers? Well, we trust Snowflake inherently. They're one, kind of the key portion of our one data stack. And our one data stack really is this mesh network of different property data sets, both locally in Australia and globally in the UK. And that succinctly makes us connect that, those data sets to marketplaces. And recently we had a marketplace deployment. We're really proud about that. Environmental risk data for the property sector, flood fire and contamination on those sites. So we're, we're really just proud to have Snowflake at the core and the center of that. And bringing AI to, on top of that, asking questions about that structured data in a normal human way, just so powerful for our customers. Fred. Really appreciate those insights. I want to take a step back for a moment, gentlemen, and explore Australia as a whole. Theo, what specific data challenges are your customers and partners facing, and how is Snowflake adapting to address the ever-evolving needs of your broader ecosystem? Yeah, Ryan, the, the Australian New Zealand markets have always had a reputation of being you know, on the cutting edge of technology and a culture of innovation. And when it comes to data and AI, we don't see any different there. And the challenges that we're seeing are no different and dissimilar to other markets around the world. You know, I think at a fundamental layer, the first challenge most of our customers are facing is just the sheer silos of data they have right. in their environment. And many of those have gone through transformational projects where they've adopted the cloud, they've moved applications to the cloud, they've taken on SaaS applications, and in their own right, in isolation, they're incredibly powerful and deliver great business value, but what they've essentially done is created more complexity and more silos within their environment. And so the Snowflake platform has really adopted for them to bring in those data sets into a single location, whether it's structured, unstructured, or semi-structured data, they now all have that in a central location. The second component of that is now that it's all sitting there in one spot, how do they securely manage that and govern that? And so through the Snowflake platform, we're able, with Horizon, able to give them a clear line of sight where the data is coming from, where it's going, who's using it, how it's being used, and the controls around managing that as well. And in Pex's scenario here, what was really important is to be able to share that data securely, internally and externally. So organizations like Pexa are using the marketplace to not only leverage those valuable data sets, but monetize those as well and help service their customers. And when we think about AI, that's what this week's all about. It's been an amazing uh, a week of announcements and what we're trying to do is really lower the benchmark or the, the, the bar and the, like, the barrier to entry for AI with things like Cortex as well. I'm so glad you mentioned AI. It's very much top of mind here at Snowflake Summit and the broader AI data cloud ecosystem is all around us. As it relates specifically to how leaders, specifically in the region, are incorporating this technology into their businesses, where do you see the most impact taking place? Fred, would love your perspective. Yeah, Ryan, there are a couple of places and we're thinking about it in three broad ways. One, in our products and our services that we think it's clearly going to provide uh, value to our customers in app and in platform. Secondly, we think in our data and um, providing deep insights in our data. Right? So that's the second place where we believe just using a natural language interface on top of your data, not having to structure queries, and democratizing that across the organization is going to be super powerful, not just for us, but for our customers as well. 
And then lastly, we think about it from the employee's perspective. How can we make our employees more productive? How can we give them the tools to supercharge them, multiply them, and it just creates this super magical multiplier for our employees. And we, we call it the AI-empowered employee. Uh, and we love that it's PEX. So we and uh, our employees are PEXarians. We're super proud of them. We want to power them with AI. I love that. It all comes back to data literacy. Theo, would love your perspective as well. Yeah, look, I, I think it's, um, without a shadow of a doubt, it's probably the most transformational um, motion or, or technology that we're going to see in our lifetime. Uh, every executive understands the potential impact and the benefit it can deliver to their organizations as well. And you've heard it a million times here, I think, uh, you know, and over the last few months, there is no AI strategy with, without a data strategy. And that's really important to understand. But when we actually get to the, to the nuts and bolts of it, there's a couple of categories that I'm starting to see emerge. The first is really around operational efficiencies in organizations. How do they, you know, a lot of them are going out there and building chatbots to help their own employees do their work better and faster and more accurately. Other areas, are, uh, in particular industries, they all change. So for example, in manufacturing, how do we perform preventative maintenance on robotics and machinery? Or in retail, how do we optimize a supply chain? So a, a, a ton of use cases that are happening. The second category is really around product innovation as well. We're starting to see organizations like PEXA build applications, leveraging AI, and monetizing those through the marketplace. It's a really exciting time. Well, gentlemen, I'm looking forward to seeing what's next to come out of the region. Thank you so much for joining me on Data Cloud Now. Before we go, what's next for Snowflake and PEXA? Fred, let's start with you. World domination. <laughs> no, uh, we, we're super proud of the strategy that we have in place. Uh, we've nowhere done in completing that strategy. We still have deployments to do globally. We've done a small portion of our Australian businesses. And so we're going to continue on that path where we're seeing value in our, in our customer base. We're seeing a roadmap of products being developed and deployed to marketplace. And this will continue. The partnership's really strong. Today and over this week, the new announcements just solidifies that. And we're happy to bring those capabilities to our customers as well. Thank you so much, and Theo, from your perspective. Look, PEX has hit on, a, on a, an enormous amount of really valuable data, um, and I think they've got a great opportunity through our work together to be able to get that into the hands of organizations that really need that the most. Super exciting. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. How about next time we have this conversation, I come to you both. Come to Melbourne. <laughs> and for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.